Hello everybody, I'm Gangster522 and welcome to the Resident Evil 4 Remake. Now originally I said I wasn't going to do this because I didn't want to add more that I had to record than what I already had going on at the time, but Resident Evil 4 Remake came out with separate ways. And this literally pushed the game better than I could have ever conceived. This game for me was already a, like a 10 out of 10, but adding separate ways on top of it makes it a solid 12 out of 10 for me. One thing of note that I will mention is that I'm going to be kind of playing this in chronological order, meaning that I'll be splicing together separate ways and the main game, like together so they're not like their own separate thing because I feel like it'd be better to watch that way at least that's how I feel now the next and the other thing I'm gonna be doing is that since we'll be playing on professional difficulty and you guys know me I'm giving myself the wolf tail for Leon and the wolf set for Ada but that's all I'm changing so everyone is aware of that it gives us greater melee damage, which I wouldn't mind the, the little bit of extra help in professional difficulty. But regardless, it's time for us to get started. And just so you know, on separate ways and the main game, I have actually, I guess you could say, perfected things. I mean, if that's what you want to call this. But... Yeah. I already took care of the mercenaries earlier, so get the hard thing out of the way. But regardless, let's just go ahead and get started on professional difficulty. What is professional difficulty? Stronger enemies, harder challenges, no auto-saving, parry can only be perfect parries, and all weapon modifications are available at the start. So let's get going. September 30th, 1998. It's a day I'll never forget. The cop inside me died that day. And that night, Raccoon City was wiped out, thanks to the bioweapons created by Umbrella. Somehow I made it out, but too many others weren't so lucky. I was asked later to join a top secret government program. Not that I had a choice. The training, punishing missions, nearly killed me. But at least I kept my mind off everything. If I could just forget what happened that night, the pain, even for a second, this time, it can be different. It has to. So tell me, Yankee, why did you come to this horrible place? As close to nowhere that I've ever seen. Let's just say, looking for someone. That someone must be very important then. The chief gave the orders himself. Help him, he said. I'm sure your boys didn't come all the way out here to roast marshmallows. <laughs> Maybe you did. You have a strange sense of humor. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Just between us. A lot of people have gone missing around here. And it's been that way for a while now. Well then, should be just another day in the office, right? Mm. 
I mean, last week there was a search for some missing hikers. I'm sure you'll do your best to help me. <laughs> que me toca bailar, hermano. finish a dance. Your favorite, I believe. Excellent timing, Ada. You know how I feel about being tied up. And yes, many thanks. You see, those annoying monks took everything from me. Including the amber? <laughs> no. Cleverly hidden just before they grabbed me. Well, then lead the way. My pleasure. And here we go. This way. Is it close? Not exactly. But it's safe. No amber, no deal. You know the terms. We're good. We're good. What do you want with it, anyway? I don't know. Yet. Alright. So, we're starting out. Here with Ada starting, she has her black tail, her TM, uh, TMP. She's got her own con she's got her own custom knife. First aid spray, a flash, and a, and a hand grenade. Which, we're going to need those here in a second. But yeah, let's let's get started. We've got company. They're looking for us. But we're taking the high road. Got it? Understood. Up you go, Luis. Arriba y listo. Fetch the amber. We'll meet up later. No! Sorry, what kind of a man leaves a lady? <gasps> then we meet at the church. Let's not make it a funeral, eh?
Now we're fighting Cassandra. So what we want to do is we just want to try and get our... You have our handgun out and just hit him on the head. Ow. Shoot him in the head, excuse me. Since we're limited down to perfect parries, I'm going to try and focus more on evading rather than trying to parry something. Because parrying is almost not really reliable on professional difficulty. I mean, you can get it to work. I mean, but the best way I'm going to be able to parry something is if I mash the damn button. Ow. Good start. Ah, damn it. Yeah, because apparently the only way you're really supposed to dodge that lunge of his is with a parry. Alright. Time for the next part. And, then, and the, that pot actually gave me a hand grenade. That's really good. Oh, shit. Now, at this point, Pisanta is kind of everywhere. So what we want to do is we want to throw a flashbang. And then we're going to throw one frag, two frags. Then we're just going to unload our PMP onto him. Ow. I wanted to avoid using my first state spray, but no. Son of a bitch. He's almost dead. I know he is. Now, which one is he? I think he's this one. Yep. All right. And stay gone. That could have gone better, but I'll take it regardless. Now, another thing about professional difficulty that makes it a bit scary is the fact that there's no auto-saving, meaning that if you die, you go back to your last save point. And we haven't saved yet, and I don't think there's a typewriter here. No, there is not. So, we'll make do. Control, come in. Louise hit the amber, but I've sent him to retrieve it. Control, do you copy? I'm listening. Go on. We ran into some unexpected trouble. And? What will you do about it? Louise is already en route to the church. I'm tracking him every step of the way. Very well. Then I suggest you hurry. Copy. Just need to confirm my route first. Heading out to get a visual of the area. Now Ada is equipped with her trusty grapple gun. So she can climb things. That's where I need to go. Stick to the high ground. You have the means. Don't forget your mission. The Amber. Nothing else matters. Wrap this little tour up and bring it to me. All right. But maybe a little sightseeing first. Now, one thing we can do is that we can stealth kill enemies by crouching and getting up to them. We can use our knife to instantly kill them. Now, you may have noticed that the knife has durability in this game, just like in the Resident Evil 2 remake. Thankfully, whenever you stealth kill an enemy, it doesn't use a lot of durability on it. It still goes down, but it's going to take a hot minute. Alright, we want to come around this way. We want to let this guy enter the room. There we go. Yeah, try not to swipe until you see the prompt appear. Because sometimes you might accidentally swipe if you do it way too early. Alright, now that that's done, there's another guy over here. Sometimes the enemies like to be really stupid and you can just run up to them and stab them in the neck and they won't even notice you. Do be like that. Let's see. Let's 
Okay, yeah, I'm just getting my bearings real quick. Now, there are treasures to collect, because what's Resident Evil 4 without treasures that you can find everywhere? So what we need to do is come over here and then open this chest to get our first treasure. Our first treasure, which is an elegant headdress. Now, we want to come around down this way. And if we come right here, there's actually a sniper rifle for us. And there's also a scope free of charge. We're going to go ahead and equip it onto the sniper rifle. This will do nicely. And then here we have a thing we can break to raise the cannon. But we're not going to do it from that end. We're actually going to shoot the yellow weight from up here. At least that sounds better in my head if we do that. All right. Okay, so now I'm just going to use the cannon to fire at those catapults that are firing at us. There's three of them. So we're going to blow those, and then we're going to use the cannon to kill all of these zealots that are running towards us. Sometimes getting off the cannon is enough to, like, aggro them to run towards you. Reason why we want to use the cannon, because not only does it kill them in one shot, but it helps us conserve ammo. Which is something that we should do. I tried to make her fall, but I guess I shot her wrong. Alright, here comes more dudes. Yep, here they come. That's a four for one. Oh, there's another one coming up. I see it. I will camp behind this cannon. I will destroy all of you. Because I can. Free knife, some money, handgun rounds. I think we're clear to move on. Right? Okay. I just wanted to get his attention. Interesting thing about handguns is that if you reload them, you'll always and you are and you, if you have ammo in the mag, then you'll just get like a plus one on it because of the bullet that's already in the chamber. Okay. All right. Now we should be good. Ammo conservation, whenever you can do it, goes a long way. Especially when you're playing on professional. Because I tried playing this like re regular RE4. And the first, my first time through, and I never had ammo for anything. We also have our second treasure, a Splendid Bangle. This is a combinable treasure. Basically, we'll find certain jewels that we can combine with other treasures in order to make them worth more so we're heading this way now before you take that up there as tempting as it is go ahead and look down first because there's actually a treasure right here you can miss and it's a ruby now we head up all right. and that's all the treasures for this section now it's time for some fun stuff the fun part we're going to need to quickly shoot at least one of the barrels. Or at least barrels as we get across, because we also need to watch out... Shit. Yeah. 
I mainly shot that first barrel right there. That way I have less archers shooting at me while I try to use the cannons. Use the cannon to blow up these catapults, or that one catapult. Now we can blow ahead, go ahead and blow these guys up. Okay, there's the other catapult, but it can't hit us from here. Nothing personal. Nothing personnel, kid. Alright, and that should be everything. Take the grapple across, and let's pick up all this stuff. I believe that is ah oh, I missed stuff I missed uh, I missed a grenade and gunpowder back there I can't go back damn it oh well well don't forget those almost out of here 